Hey everybody, this is Circle Cat Zack here, and I'm going to be bringing you a Nuzlocke run of the hack of Pokemon Black and White, Pokemon Volt White. Hi there, welcome to a new version of Unova, or Unova, either way. Blaze Black and Volt White. My name is Professor Juniper, everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Here comes Hermancino. What? This hack is inhabited by every Pokemon currently in existence, isn't that fabulous? Mutations to Pokemon have also been seen. A great number of Pokemon have sometime, have something different about them. Pokemon might have different types, abilities, stats, or movesets. It, it's practically an alternate universe. Man, you're just a ray of sunshine. The differences don't end there. There's many things you may see. You might find stronger foes, different items, different evolutions. It makes for a fresh experience. That is why this hack exists. Well, good. Well, that's enough for me. Could you tell me about yourself? I guess I could. Are you a boy or a girl? Eh, I'll be a boy. You're a boy, right? That's why I picked it. I'd like to know your name. Please tell me. Uh, I'll just name my character after myself. Do -do -do. Your name is Zach? That's why I typed it. I say, your name is Zach. What a wonderful name. Well then, I'm going to introduce you to two best friends. This young man is Charon. He can be a little difficult, but he's a very honest person. If that's really the best thing you can say about him, I'm not sure he's worth it. This young woman's Bianca. She's a little flighty, of all words, but she works very hard. I think you threw her potential, so I'm going to give you a very, very important Pokemon. Zack, the moment you choose the Pokemon that will accompany you on your journey, your story will truly begin. During your journey, you will meet many Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of view. You know, hint, hint, Team Plasma, and N, and Getsis. I really hope you find what is important to you in all of these travels. That's right! Befriend new people in Pokemon and grow as a person. That is the most important goal for your journey. Let's go visit the new world of Pokemon! Spring. Ooh, I wish it was spring here. We had snow a couple days ago, and it's just been cold and in the 30s, and I hate going outside. But I love these graphics, the 3D and the flyover, and, you know, going straight into the bedroom, sort of like in zooming in from overhead. It's pretty cool. Zack! That's right, I'm doing voices for these characters here. I heard from Professor Juniper. We can have a Pokemon? What's well, keeping Bianca? And he's tapping. I didn't notice that before. He taps his foot. Am I a little late again? Sorry. Bianca, I've known for ten years that you have no sense of time, but seriously? Today's the day we get a Pokemon from Professor Juniper. I know, sorry Zack, sorry Chedin. So where are the Pokemon? They were delivered to Zack's house, so Zack gets to pick first. Naturally. The Pokemon are waiting for us inside that gift box. Okay Zack, you go first and take a peek at the gift box. I want to meet the Pokemon right now. I see what you mean about them being difficult. Alright, so this is just a note from the person who did the hack. Or the patch, anyway. Alright, so here's our three Pokemon that we can pick from. There's the Fire-type Pokemon Tepic, which... As it grows into Pignite and Embor in this game, it turns into a Fire Ground. Snivy, which as it grows, uh, turns into a Grass Dragon, I believe. And its second ability is Contrary, which is its Dream World ability, and it's really good. But I'm going to pick the third one, which is the Water-type Oshawott. The differences with this is it has a 50% chance of holding a Mystic Water, I believe. Um, it can learn Earthquake when it gets to be a Samurott, and it gets a second possible ability, which is Vital Spirit. Hey, how come you get to pick out my Pokemon? Oh, never mind, I wanted to snipe from the start anyway. Whatever you say, Charon, play it off like you're all cool, like you wanted it for in the first place. Everyone has chosen a Pokemon, so that's that. Hey, I know, let's have a Pokemon battle. Honestly, Bianca, even though there's still weak Pokemon, you shouldn't have Pokemon battles inside a house. See, oh, look at all my cool stuff. I got a lap, or I got a desktop computer or a laptop or something. I got a big screen TV that's as big as my bed. I got a Wii. Don't be a worry, Ward. These little ones are weak, like you said. We have to let them battle so they'll get stronger. It's settled, Zack. I wasn't aware you were talking to me. Get ready for a Pokemon battle. Dun, 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 dun. 
Alright, here we go. She's gonna send out her Tepig. Foosh. Alright, and here comes Masha. What? It's a male, level 5. Let's see what this baby can do. Oh, it's faster than me. Oh, shoot, it got a crit. This thing looks to have crappy defenses. Their attack, I mean. Oh, it was a speed tie. Oh, crit right back. Come on, okay, I have to go first. Please, 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 please. Yes! Heck yeah! Man, that was scary. Good job, Ashwad. Okay. Its stats don't look to be the best. But we'll see in the end. We'll check the nature and everything later. See, look at that. My room's destroyed. How the heck do you get footprints on the wall? Seriously? And on my nice bed. Wow! Zach, you're going to be an awesome trainer someday, I can tell, no doubt. Uh, Bianca, would you take a look around? Whoa, whoa, what happened? Wow, Pokemon are amazing. So little, but so strong. I'm so glad that I get to have a Pokemon. Oh, um, sorry about your room, Zach. You are completely helpless. Here, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. Zach's Pokemon need to be fixed up too. Oh, I guess I get a free heal. Hey, Chedin, how about you battle too? With all you know, I'm sure it's something about a battle without turning the room into a disaster area like I did. I believe you're right. It'll be no problem for me to keep this room from getting any messier. Besides, it's not fair if you two are the only ones who get to have fun battling. Why can't you battle Bianca? Jeez. It's decided. You'll be my opponent in our first Pokemon battle. That's not true. I just had a Pokemon battle. Were you not paying attention? Don't you know the reason why my room is now destroyed? Aren't you cool? Looking all pensive. And then going, whoosh Alright, here comes his Snivy. Alright, let's go, Oshawott. You can do it. Alright, I go first. It's still gonna attack on me. Ooh. Yeah, that didn't do much. Okay, I think I can do it barring any criticals. Oh, it's a speed tie. So that's gonna lower my defenses. There we go. This should be a forehead KO. Okay, I can only take one more of those and live. No crit, no crit, no crit, no crit. Yes. Alright. There we go. And level 7, I think we're going to learn Water Gun here. Yep, there we go. Ah, so that's a Pokemon battle. I made a strange blunder in my first battle. But this feeling I have, I'm finally a trainer. I wonder why trainer's capitalized. But first, we better go apologize to your mother about this messed up room. Why don't you apologize to me, you jerk? Oh, I'd better come too. Okay, before we do that, let's check the nature and stats of my Oshawott. Okay, it's a jolly nature, which is going to raise speed and lower special attack. So I guess this thing's going to be a mixed attacker? Heck, I don't know. Speed is good, though, and a Nuzlocke. And it has Vital Spirit instead of uh, Torrent. Which, yeah, that's going to prevent him from falling asleep. Uh, good Endurance. I'm not sure what that characteristic does. Maybe I'll just put that in the uh, description of this video. I'm very sorry about all the trouble, ma'am. Well, um, we can clean up. Cleaning up? No worries. I'll take care of it later. Shouldn't you be on your way to meet Professor Juniper? Yes. Oh, wait, no, that's Sharon. Yeah, thank you. Please excuse us. Come on. Let's go thank Professor Juniper. I'll be waiting in front of the Pokemon Research Lab. Oh, wait. I've got to go home first. 
Thanks for having us over. Alright, I think now I gotta talk to my mom. My, my, Zack. Pokemon battles are so lively, aren't they? I could hear the Pokemon's cries clear down here. Hmm, that sure reminds me of my first Pokemon battle. Oh, and you know, after a battle you need to rest your Pokemon. Okay, another free hill. I guess that works. That's handy. Your Pokemon are looking great. Now, if you're going out, don't forget your bicycle and phone. Awesome. I love that we get the bicycle right now, and we don't have to go through, like, two gyms to get it. You're going to thank the professor, too, right? Better get going, honey. Sure, sure. Oh. One thing I want to do after Bianca leaves and goes to her house. Ooh, look at the P-Dubs. Look at the Dubs. Okay, I'm going to um, go to the key items here, and I'm going to register it so that we can just push Y to start it up. See, look. Da -da 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 -da. The power of science is amazing. Now you can use infrared to do all sorts of things in the wink of an eye. Anyway, let's go to Bianca's house. And her dad gets all mad. No, no, a thousand times no. But I'm... I'm a good trainer who's got a Pokemon and everything. I can totally go on an adventure. <gasps> oh, she's trying to hide herself from me. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. I'll be waiting for you in front of the lab, okay? Man, her dad's a jerk. I think we see him at least one more time in this game, and that's in Nimbasa City. Okay. Okay, let's go meet the professor. Yeah, let's go. Alright. Hi there. I've been waiting for you young people. Let me introduce myself again. My name is... Professor Juniper. We know your name. Come, come, Chetan. This is not a time to take things lightly. Today is a day to remember always, so it's best to behave with some formality. That being so, once again, my name is Professor Juniper, and I am researching when and how the creatures called Pokemon came into existence. I see your nice machinery there, geez. Oh, that's unusual. You've already had a Pokemon battle. So maybe that's why. It feels as though your Pokemon have already begun to trust you. By the way, would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? I guess I have to. Since this is Nuzlocke. Hmm. Uh... I'm gonna name him Shing, because when he evolves into a samurai, he gets those sword-looking things, and it, you know, when you pull a sword out of a sheath, you hear that kind of Shing noise. I see. Are you okay with the nickname Shing? Yes, I am. Shing is its name. That's such a great name. As for why I gave all of you Pokemon, it's for the Pokedex, right? Pokedex. I'm astonished. Nice work, Charon. You have already studied Pokemon extensively, haven't you? Still, let me explain everything from the beginning, for everyone's sake. The Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically rec records the Pokemon you encounter. So, I want you three to visit many places and meet all of the Pokemon in the Unova region. That, this is my request. Zack, Charon, Bianca. You'll go on an adventure to complete the Pokedex, will you? Not sure. Okay, I mean, yes, Professor. Thank you very much. Because of you, I can become a Pokemon trainer exactly as I've always wished. All of you, thanks. You've given the, me the best possible answer. Oh, cool. And we get the Pokedex. Next, I need to teach you how to meet Pokemon. Please meet me at Route 1, okay? I can do that, eventually. So since the professor asked us it's okay to go on an adventure, right? I can explore and maybe find out what I want to do in life. I think I'd like that. Of course. We can travel however we want while we complete the Pokedex. Okay, that is going to do it for episode one of Circle Cat Zack's Pokemon Volt White Nuzlocke run. I'll be sure to put up another episode soon. Hopefully we'll catch a Pokemon or two next episode. But until then, thanks for watching. Comment, like, favorite, subscribe. Tell, uh, uh, tell your friends about it. Uh, leave any suggestions you have in the comments, and until next time, thanks for watching.